Hey guys, it's Marlo back again with yet another 1-6 scale figure review for you guys and today I have the 1-6 scale Jackie Chan figure here based on his character in the Super, not Super Cop, but the <laughs> Police Story series that he starred in. This figure is made by Star Toys as you can see there. Some decent artwork there on the box cover side of the box the back there's nothing there and the other side so as far as box eh, it's kind of plain but it is a third party figure I got this figure from 1 6th kit as I do a lot of my third party figures and he always provides great service for a lot of these 1 6 scale figures you can see here it's a slip cover which is a little bit tough for me to remove with my one hand let me see getting it there uh, but as you can see underneath it looks like a plain box so let me go ahead and take this off and cut to the figure inside and once you get the figure tray out of the box again the inner box is plain just an ordinary cardboard box you get the figure as seen here let me remove the top tray layer and you can see what we have here you get two head sculpts one bow damage looking head sculpt there and then a cleaner head some extra hands and looks like part of a display stand I get the the stand here I don't see the base so I don't know if I'm missing the base here so hmm I'm gonna have to find out if there was supposed to be supposed to be a base there <laughs> don't know why they didn't include this without a base so that's kind of odd yeah anyways so let's get going on this and let me remove all the plastic wrap on the figure and take a closer look at the figure in hand all right, so I got the figure out of the plastic tray there. And real quick, let's look at the accessories. Again, we do have some extra hands. We have four extra sets of right hands there. And then two extra for the left hand. Basically two fists, two open hands. And then two different grasping hands here for the weapons and whatnot. And of course, he does come with these other hands here that are opened, sort of posed hands. And uh, it looks like I am missing the, the uh, display base. I do have this part, <laughs> but I am missing the base, so I'm going to have to contact uh, one sixth kid about that and see what the deal is. Uh, you get the extra head sculpt here. This is the battle damaged head sculpt. I think the likeness to Jackie Chan is pretty good. I'm quite satisfied with it. I don't believe I have any Jackie Chan type figures in my 1 6 scale collection, so that's one of the main reasons why I jumped on this. Plus, the likeness I thought looked really good to a younger Jackie Chan again, the way he looked in the Police Story series. You can see here again the battle damage version with cuts and blood marks all over the face. Nice work with the hair. The other accessories are this pistol. Not much to it, just a simple little plastic pistol. The barrel pops out like that, as you can see. And then you do get some handcuffs which are actual metal, so that's kind of neat. So you get the metal handcuffs. And moving on to the figure itself, let's look at the other head sculpt here. The clean head sculpt, again looking really nice, and again, I think the likeness to Jackie Chan is there. I'm satisfied, I don't know if I'm being biased, but I think it looks pretty dang good. Profile shot. And again, the back of the figure. And the clothing on him, again, looks pretty good to me. Some brown corduroy pants. Look at the details on the shoes, that's pretty nice too. The shoe strings are really nice, they look like actual strings, but they are also just plastic pieces molded on there. You get the details there with the 
a little uh, emblem it says stars and as far as the back not much else going on with the back oops sorry about that <laughs> I could use the display stand I suppose but uh, let's see how he is as far as articulation and everything let me uh, position the table a little bit better move everything over and let's see <clears throat> of course you're gonna get the ball joint on the head arms swing out let's see how the arms look if you roll them up yeah pretty nice details there of course you get movement at the arms it doesn't swivel at the uh, shoulders but you can of course go forward and back sounds like there's a ratchet there I guess that's on both sides of course the wrists there is a ball joint there plus the hinge how is the body let's see you get some abs going there okay there is an ab crunch section so you get some good rotation there swivel at the waist his legs do go out and forward pretty good it's pretty tight I mean pretty satisfied it's not too loose can't seem to put the leg back let me see yeah I can't pull the leg back more than that for some reason I guess it's hindered by the the back of the butt there but you can push the leg forward like so looks like a double joint at the knee so pretty good bend there and of course rotation at the ankles and a hinge to let it go up and down side to side so not too bad again the joints are decent not too loose not too tight I think he's all right the arms are a little bit tight though with that ratchety joint all right let's see so let me see if I can get some poses going with this guy and maybe switch out the head a little bit there we go I can see there the ball joint in the head huh okay this one doesn't have it so I'm gonna have to remove that ball socket to switch the head out so I'll do that later so we'll pop this one back on for now so all in all I'm pretty satisfied at least I do have a Jackie Chan figure in the collection now so let me see if I can get some poses going with this guy and real quick here is a look at Jackie Chan with some of the accessories the pistol in his right hand put the handcuffs there on the left and they do open and close quite nicely and lock into place like so and let me try to swap out the heads and get them into another pose for you guys And here again is another pose for you guys with the alternate head sculpt there. Again, I think the likeness is pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. Does it look like a younger Jackie Chan to you guys? The bottom of the shoes also quite detailed. Looks pretty cool there. With all the uh, rubber treading there. Again, the details on the shoes looking pretty cool nice work on the pants if you're wondering about the display base i used another one from uh i don't know some old figure i had so not a big deal again just glad to have a jackie chan figure in the collection and that's about as high as i can get the leg to go up so i'm gonna have to mess around with this guy some more to get some cooler dynamic poses somehow but uh, all in all, I'm very satisfied with this figure. Again, I got this from 1-6 Kit. I'll put a link in the description below as well as uh, somewhere in the video. You can contact him to see if you might have some more if you're curious or want to purchase this figure. So that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the quick unboxing and review. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Share the video, like the video, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Take care, guys. Keep on collecting, 
and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.